My dear friends, we are in the Lenten season and I'm sure you must have given up so many things, many your pleasures, not only your meat, your drink, your this, your entertainment, but there are so many other things that you can let go, you can give up. And therefore, I'll take you to Luke's Gospel chapter 12 verse 21 which says, But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Which means that there is an important aspect that is to be seen here. If God tells me today, today is the last day for you. And what am I going to do? Therefore, we need to let go. There are so many things we need to let go, my dear friends. We need to let go so many uh, attachments that are there. So many things that destroy our personality. And that is the reason why I will first take you to the first aspect that is a closed mindset. If my mindset is closed and then I can't, I need to give up that type of closed mindset. I need to give up fears because fear destroys me. If I'm able to, you know, give up fears, I'm sure I can do wonderful things. That is why in the scriptures, in the Bible, it is written 365 times, do not be afraid. But fear still kills us. Fear still destroys us. Let go that fears from your life. The next aspect is a pride. The pride really destroys and that's why there's a wonderful idiom. Pride goes before a fall, which shows that I am so proud and my ego is so important. Let go that ego, let go that pride. The next aspect that you can let go is also a very important point, lust. The lust that we have is not only for flesh or figures, it's also the lust for money, lust for pleasure, lust for various aspects like even name, fame, I have a lust for position, I have a lust for, in a way, an inspiration, lust for even a promotion. Yes, my dear friend, he's having that post, I must have that lust for possession. The next aspect is anger. Can you let go your anger? I'll never let go. But St. Paul says, let go your anger before the sun sets. So let go your anger, let go even control, you don't have control of yourself, you need to have a control and therefore you need to go through that. There are the other things like the negativity that you live with, let go that negativity because that negative aspect that is there in you destroys your personality and we also love to have our own important position, name and fame. And that's what we do. And that is why we see that I want to get this type of name and fame. Let go that, my dear friends. See that you think of others. See that you be grateful. See that you value people more. These are the things that you can do. So I told you, let go many things, not only all that the church tells you, let go meat, let go all these uh, uh, entertainments, but these are the important aspects. I wish you a wonderful season of Lent so that you remember to let go many of the things that are destroying your spiritual life. God bless you.